Ladies, are you still waiting for the love of your life? Well, today, I'm a help a sister out. And men, you're gonna wanna take notes too. Hello, everybody. This is God's Girl G, and thank you for joining me today. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not already subscribed, why don't you hit that subscribe button? And while you're at it, if you hear something on this video that you like, why don't you click that thumbs up button? That gives me wonderful feedback to let me know whether or not the information I'm providing is resonating with you. So let's get into it. Today's video is one of my most anticipated videos because I have received both emails and comments about what I'm getting ready to share with you. Today, we are gonna talk about the top eight qualities that women often overlook in men. And these qualities are listed in somewhat of a random order, but the last quality that I'm gonna share with you near the end of the video is gonna be probably the biggest one that I actually pay attention to. So let's get started. A patient man. My mother used to always say, time has a way of revealing everything. And patience is one of those things that time definitely reveals. A man who is impatient will usually be revealed in time. When you're dating, they try to have the patience of Job, but over time, their real self usually comes out. You'll start seeing things like, how do they respond in traffic? How do they handle the grocery store checkout line when they're really hungry or in a hurry? How do they respond when someone tells them no? So what does patience really tell us? A man who is patient in life will display the same patience with the love of his life. A frugal man or how they handle money. Now I've often heard my friends say that they want a man that can wine and dine them. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm here for it, but it's not really financially realistic for a man to continue to woo you in that fashion. So a man who opts for a more frugal date may be demonstrating a quality that could one day mean the difference between a balanced account or an overdrawn account. I'm just saying. Next, a man who manages his time well. A man who wastes time when they're single will most likely waste time when they're married. This is not to say that he should always be working, but he should have an understanding of how precious time is. And a man who uses his time well will not waste yours. A humble man. And while our culture has us focused on men who have a lot of physical strength and muscles, humility is actually a type of strength. A humble man will admit when they're wrong and apologize. A humble man will consider your needs over his. A humble man will honor his wife over his self. And that is a quality you don't want to overlook. A man who is a lifelong learner. A man who is teachable will be willing to admit what he does not know. He will be open for growth and becoming a better person. And he will seek to understand before he is understood. A man with integrity. After the honeymoon phase in a dating relationship ends, a person's true character will arise and it will reveal his integrity. A man of integrity is the same person in public as they are in private. A man who is persistent. A man who exhibits grit and tenacity in the face of obstacles will be able to lead his wife and family through adverse circumstances. What you don't want is a man who's gonna crumble under pressure. Now with persistence, I, I wanna make sure that I'm being very clear because there is a difference between good persistence and bad persistence. As I've discussed, good persistence is persevering in the face of obstacles. Bad persistence is when you have consistently and passionately told them no. That's not the persistence that I'm talking about here. And finally, this last quality is one that I am a stickler on, a man who practices self-care. And when I talk about self-care here, I am talking about a very holistic, well-rounded type of self-care. Did you know on average, men make fewer visits to the doctor and get fewer preventative screenings than women? This results in men dying at a younger age and before women. 
Self-care is important because when you are looking at a man as a potential mate, you want to make sure they're planning on being around for a while. Another part of self-care has to do with how do they take care of their body. And ladies here, I'm not just talking about going to the gym and working out, although that's important. I'm not talking about muscles and things of that nature, although that's quite interesting. I'm talking about men who take care of their teeth. And I'm not talking about how straight the teeth are. I'm just talking about, do you actually brush your teeth, floss? Do you go to the dentist? Men who take care of their skin. Your hands, are they clean? Do you have things in your nails? Those are the things that I am looking for if I were assessing a man of whether or not I wanna go out with them. And I don't care how fine you are, if your teeth don't look clean, your hands are dirty, and your skin is really messed up and you're not cleaning your skin, mm -mm. clean your nails out. You know, what are you doing? A man who takes care of them, their self can also be assessed very quickly, one glance. Another sign are clothes. Are their clothes clean? Do they have stains on their clothes? And I know that this sounds very basic, but I'm telling you today, there are men out there that, I, I don't, how are you gonna approach somebody? I don't even know how to say that. I, anyway. My mother used to tell me when I was a little girl to never marry a man that spends more time in the bathroom getting ready than you. However, it doesn't mean that a man shouldn't spend any time taking care of themselves. Ladies, you want a man who actually takes pride in how they present themselves. Their appearance matters. So there you have it. My top eight qualities that women commonly overlook in men. I would love to hear from you. Subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks for watching.